Crookshank, who did so selflessly in caring for the sick and dying. Jenny Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The 1918 Spanish influenza pandemic was the worst flu pandemic in recorded history. It's reckoned that about 40% of the world's population was infected. 20 to 40 million people died from it. It was an influenza pandemic that swept around the globe in unparalleled ferocity, and New Zealand was not immune. In just two months, 9,000 people died here. Now imagine the effect of such a sudden loss of life if that were to happen today. Now, in comparison, over the four-year course of the Great War, 18,000 soldiers died, New Zealand soldiers. Now, ironically, it was the returning soldiers that it's thought brought the flu to New Zealand. Now, the flu pandemic, it moved very, very quickly, but it was the secondary condition, pneumonia, which was the real killer. Sufferers who also caught pneumonia would often turn black before they died because of the broken blood vessels. Now, one woman described her suffering. Her fingers and toenails turned black, her tongue was covered in half an inch thick fungus, and her entire body was racked in pain. Men were twice as likely as women to die, and the Māori death rate, seven times that of the general population. My grandmother was living in Hokianga, a soup kitchen there was organised in each of the communities. Mounted and armed guards also stood at the crossroads to turn back any would-be visitors. There was one rule. It was simple. Anyone could leave, but no one could enter. Fina Cooper, my grandmother's whanaunga from Pangaru in Hokianga, she recalls her memories. Her father was the first to get sick in her area. He was really, really sick. He died. He was put in a coffin, others were put on sledges. Some they had to drag away. They dragged them away to the cemetery, to the Urupa. There was no time for any tangi. It was devastating for Māori, as it was devastating for the rest of the population. A hundred years on, and just a couple of weeks ago, there has been a seaside cemetery in, in Taranaki where people lying forgotten have been remembered. The Waitapu Urupa near Ngamotu Beach in New Plymouth held a, there was a ceremony held there recently by the, the chairman of Ngati Te Fiti Hapu, also a trustee of the Urupa, Trent and Martin. They had karakia and he called out to those who have passed to let them know that we're here for this occasion, to let their spirits, their souls be at peace now that, and we have acknowledged them. Flu pandemics have been eradicated. They have not been eradicated, Mr Speaker. They are not ancient history. They are ever-present in our modern, connected world, and they're likely to spread even faster. We must remember the tragic events of 100 years ago and never be the slightest bit complacent in defending ourselves from any potential pandemic. Yeah. Kia ora, Mr Speaker. Nā mihi nui, kia koutou. Kia ora.